In this procedure, you'll learn how to remove excess or impacted earwax, called cerumen, from one or both ears. The first step is to sanitize your hands. Next, check the provider's order and assemble your materials. To prevent a medication error, it's important to check the label of the solution three times. First, check the label when you remove the solution from the shelf. Check the label a second time as you pour the solution into the applicator. Check it a third time when you return the solution to the shelf. Prepare the solution as ordered. It should be kept at body temperature to help loosen the cerumen. Before you begin, introduce yourself to the patient. Be sure to use two identifiers. Can I have your full name and date of birth, please? Yes, it's Norman. Then explain the procedure. Mr. Lepo, so today we're going to be performing an ear irrigation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this device and I'm going to squeeze a special solution into your ear and that's going to flush out the earwax. Do you have any questions about the procedure? Use an otoscope to check the affected ear and locate the cerumen impaction. Place the patient in a sitting position with his head tilted toward the affected ear. To keep his clothing dry and direct the flow of the solution, place a towel over a polylined barrier on the patient's shoulder. Place the collecting basin on the towel beneath the ear. The patient can help by holding the basin. Wipe away any foreign particles to avoid introducing them into the ear canal. For the patient's comfort, ensure that the solution is warm. Medication that's cold may cause pain, nausea, or dizziness. Fill the syringe and expel any air from it. Trapped air increases the pressure of the irrigation and may cause discomfort. To help the solution circulate, straighten the outer ear canal. For adults and children over three, gently pull the pinna up and back. For children under three, pull the earlobe down and back. Place just the tip of the syringe into the opening of the ear. Gently direct the flow of solution toward the roof of the external auditory canal. This helps protect the tympanic membrane, remove embedded material, and keep the patient comfortable. Refill the syringe with warm solution and continue until the material has been removed. Note the particles in the collecting basin to be evaluated after the procedure. Dry the patient's outer ear. Then, Dry only the visible portion of the ear canal with a cotton-tipped applicator. Don't insert it any farther. Doing so could cause serious trauma. Inspect the ear with an otoscope to determine the results. Allow the patient to rest quietly with his head turned to the irrigated side. Sanitize your hands. Document the procedure in the patient's health record. Include the date and time, the ear irrigated, the type and amount of solution used, the characteristics of the material expelled during the irrigation, the visibility of the tympanic membrane after irrigation, and the patient's reaction, if any. It's vital to record all of this information.